I'm Bill Moyers. Talk politics anywhere in America these days, and there's no mistaking. People listen to the politicians and the pundits, and what they hear leaves them feeling distant from the process and disillusioned with the system. The frustration's been building. In the last presidential election, only half of the eligible voters actually went to the polls. But all that is generalization. In this report, we'll look at one American community. We picked a neighborhood on the front lines of the drug war. That's the issue most Americans say is their number one concern. It dramatizes the vanishing rule of law in America, the loss of faith in our institutions and future, and our political failure to cope. What we found here is a gulf. Where people live, the rhetoric of politics these days barely connects to the realities of ordinary life. What sound for your mind? Check it out. Yeah. For those who don't know the way I flow, my name's fucking Mike Geronimo, you know what I'm saying? Big shouts to my whole fam, you know what I'm saying? I'm representing y'all know who you is. And we about to spark this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, check it out. Check, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Another thing you're stepping through the belly of the beast. I leave the compound and make my way to my stomping ground. I'm just about broke to the letter. It can't get any worse, shit could only get better. My burner lamp and by my waistline. Geronimo will be fine when niggas come up back and undivine. So now we unwind and keep a focus on my schedule. It's critical for me to run a scan of my plan. I keep stepping and on the DL, I be well. And that's the gospel. Chicks to get a call when it's possible. I make a red bone, a dead bone. After my bed bone, I leave an ass on from my tone. Then I bounce and check my family, jump in the ride and see what's going with down on the other side of town. It's all about lounging and keeping shit together. No matter the weather, you find me out doing whatever. And when the sun falls, words are more, we're on the move. So nobody could bust up the motherfucking groove. It's ill enough to get your fingertip filled. Check the rhyme paragraph because my shit is real. My shit is real. It's ill enough to hit you real enough Like at your nightstick licks to your brain when you're handcuffed For every episode I unfold There be another sick story in my mind to be told And every time I take flight in the midnight The police be searching for a nigga with a killer mouthpiece Since my first birthday, I've been in With more tricks than a tramp locked in a sleepaway camp And then he heard with a loop full of verbs To catch kids to the curb and get thrown off a bridge Called the Williamsburg or your pipe dreams I hope so burn up like choke smoke And in a sample sack, I push a tech to your neck your neck. So leave me alone and get prone I'll be yelling out for more taps than the feds Bugging telephones, flipping niggas And leaving them sleeping in a chalk tray DTs be pumped by a microphone Scarface, I'm beyond That nigga in the front row front and he gets slugged Send his mug from a rhyme to a gun thug I keep my form in the storm of a raw deal And give you a torn feel because my shit is real My shit is real Loading clips from my hips and start busting off steel Steel my stride and I take your ass out the frame of your hot and I I grab bitches by stacks and stacks and I You catch a lick in the back from my baseball bat I take the time on my last verse to rhyme to say peace to all the members of my fam doing jail time, making your brain cell swell when niggas couldn't rhyme. Hey yo, I grab the bag and rob well. Rip it out your brain when I memorize your name. Niggas will never be the same, cause I'm bad in the game. Uh, I took mics in daylight, sharp as steel. And now you know the deal, because my shit is real. My shit is real. South Jamaica, Queens, a working class community nestled between New York City's Kennedy and LaGuardia airports. 
there are places like it all over America. Just down the road from Archie Bunker's All in the Family neighborhood, South Jamaica drew middle-income blacks looking for a better life. Most people here have jobs, pay taxes, and own their homes, own blocks made for kids and bikes on summer afternoons. But to live in South Jamaica is to see another side of America. WCBS News Time is 821, 39 degrees in New York. A little boy has been killed in a fire in South Jamaica, Queens this morning. We're going live to Queens and WCBS Newsman Jim Ascendio. Neighbors and residents say crack dealers tried to take over the house, and when the residents fought back, the crack dealers began a war of terror that ended with this morning's fire. Grandmother in Queens reportedly was killed in apparent retribution for testifying before a grand jury about a shootout that she saw, even after the police were police officer was murdered in New York City this morning. Death after death in recorded in passing news briefs. But this one last winter drew national attention. On a Queen Street. Patrolman Edward Byrne, 22 years old, was assigned to protect a witness whose house had been firebombed, a witness in a drug case. It was an execution, a message from the drug dealers that South Jamaica is ruled not by government, but out of the barrels of guns. Burns' father, Matthew, is himself a retired police officer. He saw in his son's death a warning that anarchy is growing fast in America's neighborhoods. For many years, we've all heard about the so-called war on drugs. The drug peddlers are now telling us that they've declared war on society. And you and I are society. And now the question becomes, what are the decent people of the world going to do as a result of his death? That speech struck home with Americans across the country and with the politicians. One thing for sure, cities cannot stop the drug war. The drug war, down with drugs! Amen! South Jamaica suddenly became good campaign material. You read about the execution of Officer Edward Byrne. You've read about the drug-related violence that's turning sections of our cities into combat zones. My friends, the streets of America do not belong to drug peddlers and crack gangs. They belong to us, and we're going to take them back. But in South Jamaica, the rhetoric is drowned out by another reality. For two years, the neighborhood has been the target of a special drug crackdown program ordered by the New York City Police Department. Murders here still rose by more than 30% last year, an increase blamed on crack. This is a 357, do a lot of damage. Can you pull point to the vest? Yeah, These bullets go right through a police officer's vest. In almost any corner, you can find business going on. Here's something changing hands. And here. And here, in broad daylight, the boy goes to a hiding place, gets out his merchandise, hands something over to this man. And again, here and the teenage businessman counts a roll of bills. In South Jamaica, you don't have to be an adult to work in the drug trade. This corner market is right next to a school. I'm afraid now. I always believed if I got off the LST in Normandy that I would survive. But here, you don't even know if you go out your door, you might get shot. Aaron Dozier lives down the block from the schoolyard drug market. He's a World War II veteran and a retired postal worker. Officer Byrne was killed right near here. Yeah, about four blocks from here. And what happened after that? They set up a headquarters in the house that he was supposed to be guarding, and all the dope pushers moved over to this side of the street. They just lifted up there. They took up the equipment and walked right over here. They must not Stand be very... Stand by the school. Have they harassed the kids on the block? Sometimes, yes. Try to, try to hustle the drugs to yeah, Try to make the kids uh, either be lookout for the uh, for the police or have the kids uh, selling it for them, actually. 
Because the kid can't get there any time. So what can he do? He go, uh, they have a kid make the deliveries. Every time you hear this, what do you think? You've been in combat zones before. Do you ever think this is a combat zone too? Yep. All night I, you can hear uh, uh, pistol shots, sirens. There was a nurse shot not far from here. My wife, uh, she worked with her. For 18 years, my wife worked with that nurse. With the nurse who was killed? She was shot in a, in, in a line of fire? Yeah, according to the line of fire.